Would you say, Mikhail Gorbachev, that now we are at a turning point of history again concerning the relationship between East and West? Yes, unfortunately. The really bad thing is that during the Cold War, which lasted 40 years, we created many things that we can't get out of our heads or out of our policies anymore. I deplore this. It's not what the world needs today. People noticed after the Cold War that they could live and work together peacefully. Conflicts were held in check, armies were reduced, and defense budgets cut. Now the idea of a new war is being forced upon us. People who want a military build-up give the impression that the situation is alarming. Actually, they want us to get used to the idea of a new war, a third world war. Vladimir Putin also made tests with um, new intercontinental ballistic weapons and he announced new tests um, yet again. Do you think he's um, ready and willing to use them? Putin, Putin is being provoked into upholding the arms race or even into stoking it. It's unavoidable. Many countries have started buying arms cannons, weapons of mass destruction and so on. The greatest danger of all is from a military-industrial complex. Are you afraid that your personal political legacy is um, threatened in danger? Several months ago, I wrote to Putin and Obama, asking them not to allow the situation to escalate into war. Those that are pushing for this have to be restrained. I see how hard it is for Obama. He's considered a weak president, reluctant to make decisions. He doesn't decide in the way the military-industrial complex would like. The West has increased sanctions now to find a solution in the conflict. What do you make of them? We are a huge country. We have enough land and resources, and this is what we trade with. Now people are using sanctions to try to stop us trading, to make us angry, to try our patience and provoke our politicians. Swiss Foreign Minister Didier Burkhalter, who chairs the OSCE this year, has been negotiating with Putin over the Ukraine conflict. At the same time, Switzerland has taken sides by partially supporting sanctions against Russia. Is according to you this is a contradiction in terms? It's right to try to steer the world and its politics in another direction, to facilitate collaboration, meetings between people and exchanges of views, to solve problems. And there are many for young and old. Cultural problems, environmental problems, poverty. There are so many problems already, and yet we are being dragged into an arms race. I appeal to people to be careful. Mikhail Gorbachev, thank you for talking to us.